Hawkswall to Noy up everybody. What a wonderful morning. And I know that it might not be obvious looking at the rain outside, but uh, being the Minister of Emergency Management and Climate Readiness, I'm actually very grateful for the rain given the wildfire situation in our province. Uh, before we go on further, I would love to invite Jacob Lindell, a Ridgeway student right here up to the podium to start us off in a good way. Hello, my name is Jacob Lindell and I'm a grade seven at Ridgeway. I'd like to thank the Coast Salish people, specifically the Skohomish Nation and Tsleil-Waututh Nation, for allowing us to get together on this unceded traditional territory that the North Vancouver School District resides. I value the opportunity to learn, share, and grow on this traditional territory. Wonderful. Wonderful, Jacob. Thank you so much, Jacob. So again, good morning, everybody. My name is Bowen Ma, MLA for North Vancouver Lonsdale. Um, Really, really incredibly grateful to be able to be with all of you here today with our speakers up here. We have Rachna Singh, a Minister of, of Education and Child Care, Linda Buchanan, Mayor of the City of North Vancouver, Kovir Mann, Chair of the North Vancouver School Board, and Brooklyn Scotland, who you are, will hear from later on, who is also a student here at Ridgeway as well. We also have many dignitaries in the crowd with us today. I, I probably won't name everybody. I do want to acknowledge, of course, the superintendent of, of North Vancouver Schools, Dr. Pius Ryan. Um, I understand Katrina Russell, president of the North Vancouver Teachers Association is here. We have many guests, well, not guests, no, hosts, many honored <laughs> hosts from the Squamish Nation here, including Wilson Williams, I believe somewhere in the crowd, or as Dex and I see. Um, Paul Wick there. I saw members of the Squamish Nation earlier on today walking in as well. We have Brenda Sims from the Tsleil-Waututh Nation and many of a uh, host from there as well. Many current and former trustees as well as city councillors as well. This is a, a really honored crowd um, because we have a very important and exciting announcement that all of you have been working together on for some time and so grateful to be able to to reach this milestone and to talk about that milestone I will invite up to the podium Honorable Rashna Singh, Minister of Education and Child Care. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Thank you so much Jacob for starting us uh, in such a good way uh, I, uh, and uh, the territorial acknowledgement. And thank you to my friend, uh, Minister Ma, uh, the local MLA, uh, for the introduction. Uh, uh, before I start, I just want uh, to know uh, that you have a very, very strong advocate uh, in uh, Minister Ma. Uh, since I became the Minister of Education, uh, I'm relatively new minister, uh, and uh, uh, you won't believe how many times uh, Minister Ma has come over to me <laughs> advocating. And uh, it was, uh, in, uh, it was uh, very important that I, uh, like, I was making announcements all across the province, and she wanted to make sure that when the announcement comes to her, uh, uh, her riding, and uh, very important to her community. So thank you so much. Here I am. And, uh, and, uh, and a very, very special thank you to, all, to the school district staff who work so hard to support students and create positive learning environments here in North Vancouver. I'm excited to be here uh, today to announce our government's support to build a new Cloverly Elementary School. I know the community has been eagerly awaiting this project. Uh, I would like to thank the North Vancouver School Board, the City of North Vancouver, including Mayor Linda Buchanan, uh, Mr. Ma and all the community members who have advocated for the new Cloverly Elementary. The new Cloverly will have space for 585 students, helping to meet current and future enrollment demands. And with the increased student capacity, the new school will also include neighborhood learning center. Uh, neighborhood learning centers are an important way that we support schools to provide space for childcare and other community functions as well. We know that schools are truly the heart of, of, of our local communities. And I'm really looking forward to working with you all and to visiting here again when this, pro, uh, when this project progresses. Uh, we all know that North Vancouver is a great place to go to school and to raise a family. With 
166 million to improve schools from our government to the North Vancouver School District. We are working hard to meet the needs of this fast growing community. I know the recently completed seismic replacement and expansion of Hansworth Secondary and the seismic upgrades at Mountainside were much celebrated projects. We have also funded a six classroom addition to Lynn Valley Elementary, which once completed, once it, will, it is completed, will add 145 new student spaces to that school. We know that we have done a lot, but at the same time, we know there's a lot more work that needs to be done. And we look, look forward to continue to collaborate with the fantastic team here in North Vancouver. Uh, I, I have said it a number of times, uh, that uh, I have a daughter uh, myself who is in the public school system. Uh, she's in grade nine. And my son uh, also went to our public schools as well. As a mother and as a minister, I understand how important it is for parents to be able to send their kids to safe modern schools that are close to home. And I'm very proud of the work that our government has done and its commitment to support students and invest in their future. We want to make a real difference in the lives of students, families, and school staff. Building, expanding, and upgrading our schools is one of the most important ways we can support you all to do the crucial work that you do every day. And I, again, I really want to thank you all for joining us today to celebrate globally and to honor our work together to help our young people grow and thrive. I know just one week left uh, for the schools, uh, uh, and I two weeks left, and uh, so uh, I hope that you have a great conclusion to your school year. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Minister Singh. It really is truly a fantastic milestone. I know that the community and all of the advocates that are here today and who weren't able to make it today have been working so hard to get this project to where it is today. Ever since 2017, I have heard from community, when I was elected in 2017, I, I heard from communities and parents and teachers and, and uh, school district representative, municipal leaders about the need for an additional elementary school down in the Cloverly area. The population here is fast growing. City of North Vancouver is a wonderful place to raise a family. People are choosing to grow their families here. And all of that is made possible by the amazing mayor and councils that have served us here in this community over the many years. And to speak uh, more to that, I'd like to invite up to the podium Mayor Linda Buchanan, mayor of the city of North Vancouver. Well, thank you very much, uh, Bowen, and good morning, everyone. I am Linda Buchanan, the mayor in the city of North Vancouver, and I would just like to acknowledge that I am uh, uh, joined by a fellow councillor, uh, Angela Gerard, and uh, as well as our chief administrator officer, Dr. Leanne McCarthy. So thank you for being here with us today. And so thank you, Minister Singh and MLA Ma, Ma for those thoughtful remarks. Um, it's not every day we get to make an announcement like this one, so it should go without saying that this is a great, great day in the city of North Vancouver. We are proud to be a growing city with many young families choosing to move here and lay their roots. Active, healthy children are an in integral part of a vibrant city. That's why Council has been strategic and intentional in building a community that supports families. But municipalities cannot do it on our own. We require partnerships with many organizations, including the school district, the Board of Education, and the province to deliver new schools and childcare. Today's announcement has been many, many years in the making, as been already referenced. And I want to extend my gratitude. I really appreciate how all stakeholders have worked together to advance this today. And Minister Singh, that flow of uh, advocacy started with the Board of Education to the City Council to MLA Ma, over to you. <laughs> so we're thrilled to have you here today. And I am absolutely thrilled. This much needed new elementary school and neighborhood learning center is coming to our community. This will allow more children to learn, play and grow in their neighborhood. Provide essential services such as childcare 
and alleviate school capacity challenges in our community. As a mother of four, a former public health nurse, and a former Board of Education trustee, I can tell you from experience that schools play a critical role in the growth and development of children. The new Cloverly Elementary School will indeed shape a new generation of young learners here in the city. On behalf of Council, I want to extend my deepest thanks to the Government of British Columbia, in particular Premier Eby, Minister Singh, and MLA Ma for this investment, and a big thank you to the Board of Education for their vision, and I look forward to continuing to work with both parties and the province on our shared priorities. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much, Mayor Buchanan, and for all of the work that you and your council have done on behalf of the city over the many years that you've served. It is, like you've heard, an exciting day. Brand new school, 585 seats for, for elementary uh, students, as well as a neighborhood learning center that will provide services to the entire community, like childcare as well. It really is even more than just a school. But I also need to acknowledge that this is now the fifth major capital project that will be delivered by the North Vancouver School District, funded by the province in as many years. And this is enormous, an enormous amount of work. I want, I'm so grateful for the incredible work of the North Vancouver, I just, North Vancouver School District and the Board of Education. And to speak on their behalf, I'd like to invite up Colvier Mann, Chair of the Board of Education. Thank you, Minister Ma. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone in attendance today for being here to celebrate the official announcement that a new elementary school, Cloverly Elementary, is coming to North Vancouver. We very much appreciate the good news you have shared today, Minister Singh. With today's announcement, the North Vancouver School District will soon begin to engage in a collaborative process that will result in a brand new school a real benefit to the families in and around the Cloverly neighborhood, and a new community asset, which will serve the needs of this growing community for years to come. We know that it will be a few years before we are able to welcome students, staff, and families into the new school. We also know that in those years, there will be much work to do by school district staff and community partners. However, we also know that it is going to be worth it I can just imagine the sounds of children's laughter throughout the school and on the playgrounds. It's a sound we all look very much forward to hearing. A school is so much more than a physical place. At the North Vancouver School District, we know schools are the heart of the community. And that is why so much of our work is centered around building a vibrant teaching and learning communities where all are welcome. Before I close, I would like to sincerely thank you all again for being here and your support as we work to bring a brand new school to North Vancouver. I would like to recognize former trustees Megan Higgins and Mary Tassie Baker, who are here with us today, and Christy Sacre, who sends her regrets for their work leading up to today's announcement. On behalf of the Board of Education, I extend my deep gratitude to the provincial government Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh Nations, Education and Community Partners, and Mayor Linda Buchanan, and City of North Vancouver Councillors. Thank you to our amazing hosts from Ridgeway Elementary, Principal Jillian Gordon, Vice Principal Kendra Arkenstall, and student leaders Jacob Lindell and Brooklyn Scotland. Your words were moving and inspiring. I do appreciate you being here today, but you'll need to make your way back to school soon. <laughs> Your education is important. And on that note, thank you again, everyone. I can't wait to see what the next few years bring. Thank you. So we've talked a lot about the advocates, the parents, uh, the staff who have made this announcement possible. But now it's time to talk. <laughs> Councillor Gerard is signaling something to me that I'm not, that's distracting me. <laughs> okay, let me, we've talked.
talked a lot about the wonderful people who have been able to make this happen, but it's time to really focus in on who this, why we do this work and who it's really for. And of course, that is the wonderful students that make up our community. We are so incredibly proud of our student population and so excited for the young people who will grow up into first elementary school students and high school students and they go on to become uh, the beautiful people that they will become. And to introduce you to just one of those amazing students, uh, I well, I am going to introduce you to one of those amazing students. Her name is Brooklyn so Scotland, Brooklyn, Scotland, student here at Ridgeway Elementary as well. Brooklyn, would you come up? Thank you, Minister Ma. Hello, I'm Brooklyn, Scotland, a grade six student at Ridgeway Elementary. I like going to school in North Vancouver School District for many reasons, such as clubs and activities. Some of these clubs and activities I've enjoyed include outdoor school at Chequema Center, artists for kids, track and field, band, choir, and the multicultural fair. With living in North Van, a lot of opportunities are given to the students. One of the first things that comes to mind is outdoor school. Every year, students in grades three to six go to outdoor school or the longhouse at Check in the Center. This is a unique opportunity for kids in North Van and a great way to learn more about the nature and the indigenous ways of knowing. Another great thing about being in North Vancouver School District is the community. Everyone seems to know everyone from extracurricular activities, being neighbors, going to school together, and using the parks. Going to school in your community is a great way to build friendships. An example I have was when I was in the first grade and the class was playing games, I wanted to read instead. A grade seven student came up to me and talked to me so I wouldn't feel alone. This is a sweet memory that means a lot to me about feeling connected. This year, I am part of the Reconciliation Ravens and the Rainbow Ravens. These clubs are made up of students from different grades that want to make a change and help others students and help others students teach equity and inclusion. These clubs are also give students the feeling of belonging. All of these opportunities and events that happen in North Vancouver School District are really special to me and many other people. I think North Van is a great place to go to school and I feel lucky I get to go here. Thank you. You've heard from a lot of speakers. Now it's your turn to ask questions. <laughs> and with that, I will turn it over to Annie, who will be uh, moderating the Q&A. Well, now there's the media Q&A portion of the event. For media on the line, please press star 1 to enter the queue and ask a question. You'll be limited to one question and one follow-up. Media in the room, please line up at the mic stand behind you if you'd like to ask a question. You will be limited to one question and one follow-up. Please state your name and outlet. We will start with questions in the room. 